Hello and welcome to Slovenia's pre-expo presentation on travel and connectivity. From October 1st, the eyes of the global public will be on Dubai, where the expo, an event which was postponed last year due to the pandemic, will be held and where countries will provide their answers to the fundamental challenges facing humanity. This is the true power of Expo, inspiring reflection and cooperation on a global scale. We are proud to be a part of this event, presenting in Dubai with our pavilion and a versatile program showcasing Slovenian knowledge, pioneering economic achievements, tourist gems, and above all, our mentality, which is deeply committed to nature and its teachings. We are also pleased to participate at the so-called pre-expo events where we can, among other countries, present original solutions and models for tackling important issues in different areas. This time, we will focus on tourism as a generator of mobility. Slovenia and Slovenian tourism have made groundbreaking steps in the field of development and promotion of the country in recent years, especially as a sustainably committed boutique destination for five-star experiences. It has won many awards, to name only a few. Slovenia was declared the first green country in the world at the Global Green Destinations Day in 2016. It was given the distinguished World Legacy Destination Leadership Award by National Geographic for its sustainable destination management. We also received the Sustainable Top 100 Destination Awards in the Best of Europe 2020 category for introducing sustainable models in tourism at the national level. But, as we know, in 2020, for the first time in history, tourism was brought to a grinding halt due to COVID-19. This disruption has made us realize just how interwoven tourism is into all aspects of society and has emphasized how pervasive the impacts of tourism are. Now it is crucial to rethink and restart in the right way. We have many good examples in paving the way to create the sustainable tourism of tomorrow, which we want to present at the Slovenian Pavilion. But today, let's focus on the recently awarded initiative Tourism 4.0, which started as an idea presented by Arctour, an established high-tech company with a long history in high-performance computing and industry 4.0, at events in Europe, China and Mexico, and it has rapidly grown first into the largest tourism R&D project in the history of Slovenia involving Arctur and all major universities in the country, followed by the largest national project involving the largest tourist providers and high-tech companies under the leadership of Arctur, and moreover, more EU projects running at the Black Sea, Danube region and around Europe. We are a high-tech company with long track of experiences in bringing technologies from Industry 4.0 to SMEs. We have been looking for new sectors where we could bring in those experiences. And this is how we came to tourism, where the gap between the large platforms and smaller players who really live and create tourism is huge. With Tourism 4.0, we want to change that. So, is it all about the technology? With which spirit should the R&D spirit in tourism be driven? But before thinking of technologies, we focused on research about how should be the tourism of tomorrow, how can we build true sustainability and avoid negative effects of tourism? What we did, we have put the local community, the quality of life of local residents in the middle and all other stakeholders around. So whatever we develop respects this. The main pillars of Tourism 4.0 are built on technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, blockchain, big data analytics, artificial intelligence and high performance computing. In today's world, we are surrounded with data, but only few corporations are able to harvest and analyze data. Most people in tourism are not aware of the power of this invisible layer, which controls their businesses and very seldom shares some of the information with them. We want to change this and empower local communities with the technology to transform raw data into valuable information for their business and society. You can call us Robin Hoods of the cyber world, but we strongly believe that there should be a fair trade, not only in food or textile industry, but in tourism as well. To get the true value of the positive and negative impact of tourism based on real data, the Tourism Impact Model was developed. This award-winning tool can freely be used by tourist destinations, regions or countries all around the world. 
The result of the assessment is correlated with UN SDGs and represents a valuable foundation on which tourism and community development strategies are built on. Measuring and analyzing the flows of tourists is a second pillar of Tourism 4.0. In combination with the carrying capacity of a certain destination, ArcTour can predict over-tourism, which triggers a rapid growth of negative impacts for local society. Only by being aware of this can destinations be avoided by redirecting flows to less crowded areas. And here, the third and fourth pillars come into the game. The Collaboration Impact Token, a sort of crypto or e-voucher to award the good behavior of tourists, combined with the Digital Online Tourist Identity, which enables the tourist to get a personalized experience without revealing personal data. But the choice for an alternative destination cannot be triggered only in the one sense of boosting the positive impact in this new destination. There should be something more. Bait which grabs the attention a unique thing that one can find there and only there, an experience built around natural or cultural heritage, a Heritage Plus, as they call it at Arc Tour, where they have a whole program dedicated to it. Cultural heritage is an ideal springboard for creating new digitally enriched tourist products. Why? Because cultural heritage is deeply rooted in the local context. It reflects the cultural DNA and the cultural identity of those places, and it inspires creativity, creative storytelling, and digital interpretation. Because of all these characteristics, cultural heritage is a sound base for great products that also create positive impact in local communities. Worldwide, cultural heritage is one of the main attractors of successful tourist destinations. Yet when overcrowded, the positive effects are diminished. Moreover, uneven development results in the vast majority of peripheral or uncommercialized heritage locations struggling to secure enough resources and public attention to maintain, preserve, and interpret important heritage lessons. Although seemingly different, cultural heritage and advanced technologies can and should be coupled. Actually, they can make a great match. Using advanced technologies such as augmented reality, virtual reality, holograms, interactive screens, mobile apps, we can showcase the stories of cultural heritage, we can engage new audiences, especially young audiences, and we can raise awareness about our values and common past. The Heritage Plus program covers 3D digitization, creating the digital twins of immovable monuments, 3D simulated reconstructions based on archive materials and in collaboration with heritage experts, digital storytelling, as well as the development of new media that all together result in digitally enriched tourist experiences for cultural heritage. Digital innovation of cultural heritage has thus two benefits, at least with two benefits. One of them, of course, is that by creating new tourist products, we are creating and fostering the creation of new jobs that are local-based and that are connected to the local communities. And secondly, 3D models and 3D data about cultural heritage is a great documentation, archiving and presentation tool of this endangered cultural heritage. Tourism 4.0 and its tools and programs have never been intended to remain solely in Slovenia. Other regions, from the Black Sea region, Danube region, and elsewhere in Europe, are already taking part and applying learnings and solutions from Slovenia. How sustainable is tourism in your country? Are the most advanced tools already in use to create the right impact? Come and visit us. Let us inspire you with our intact nature and the most advanced solutions, such as those of Tourism 4.0. Make sure to visit us at our Expo 2020 Pavilion and live in Slovenia. Make sure to be the one who co-creates the future in which we all want to live.